see bees coming back out of here? Mm -hmm. They hadn't found their queen yet. I guarantee it. So now I'm wondering, because they're all going back up there, if she's up there. The queen is not in the box. Remember that. Smells like home. But it ain't home yet. Now what they're doing is, is they're flying around here to find her, to direct her down to the box. Exactly what's going on. We got some going underneath. Uh. Huh. Makes me wonder. Look out, girls. Look out. Look out. We're still coming out. She's not in the box yet. At this point, all I can do is just kind of sit back and see if they bring her down. No organization whatsoever. that's where they were and they're not clustering so she's probably not up there and they are doing their best they're doing their best to figure out where she's at once they find her they'll try to direct her over here while we wait No, Richard, they're looking for their queen. They are trying to find her. They sure are going under that box pretty good. Oh, our corner's up. They're sneaking out over here. We got them everywhere. They're starting to they're starting to cluster back up there. I got one thing that I can do. One thing I can do, guys. Let me put you down for just a second because I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this deep off that bottom board. Look at how they're going up underneath that thing. Let me uh, let me see if I can get this box off. Hang on. All right. Now. wonder if she's in there that's where I think she might be
I don't see her anywhere else. I don't see her anywhere else. I'd rather, I'd rather her fly back up in the tree as opposed to get stuck under the box. Hang on. All right. Look out, girls. Look out. There we go. Still got a little cluster up there, but they're not landing on that. So, all I can do is sit here and wait. Make sure she's not hiding under here somewhere. I see they're, they're marching up in, but they're going to the smell of the comb. I don't know, gang. What do you think? Uh, Mr. Ed bangs on a pipe. I'm gonna let that cluster up there for a bit. Um, gang, what I'll do is I'm gonna I'm gonna let everything settle down for right now, and uh, let's see. I guess the best thing to do is just let them chill. If the queen was in there, let me help you with this. I wouldn't worry about that up there. Uh, uh, kind of gathering up. I wouldn't be worried about that right there because they would eventually realize they don't have a queen and they would come down here so that'd be fine with me but i'll tell you what i'm thinking and this is really funny to see the bees acting as crazy as what they are right now i really honestly that that right there is a lot of actions of having an unmated queen in there that is exactly what's going on I, i'll put a dollar bill on it folks that is uh that craziness that queen probably was underneath or came back out and um see now they're marching in there and you, our unmated queens are generally they're a lot smaller and if she's got a dark body like you'll kind of see a lot of those a lot of those bees have dark backsides uh probably a dominant in the kind of the carnolian colors or the darker black and brown Shoot, she could have walked in there and I'd probably have missed her a hundred times over. But this is real good right here as far as that with them marching back in there. I do like that. But so if you guys are just kind of coming in, all I did was I started the video out. I just wanted to share watching the bees kind of march in. I just I, th I think it's beautiful. This is, for a beekeeper, this is one of the most beautiful things to see. For one, it means you just ended up catching a swarm and they're going into your box. So you're gonna, you got pretty much a new colony that you get to, to mess with. But um, they, I just was gonna share with you, you know, the march, just the sound of the beehive. And uh, well, all of a sudden we got to looking at it and the bees started coming back out of it. And that, that says a lot as far as whether or not you got your queen in there or not. I can promise you. Well, we took the box and off the bottom board, shook the bees out from underneath because the Hive IQ setup uh, has a built-in uh, ventilated bottom per se. And there was some bees that had gotten up underneath there. Um, you know, I, it generally doesn't bother me when they do that because they'll sort it out by a day or so. So I don't hold that as a, a negative but we ended up taking the box off shaking those off and put our little ramp back on and there you go but our little our little spot up here in the tree it's not really growing that's a good sign as far as 
probably not having a queen up there because so many of these other bees are flying around. That means they are not fanning that they have a queen up there. They're just don't know what to do and they probably held up there so long that they decided that's where they were going to go. But oh, just enjoy that march. Richard, I'm going to tell you this, buddy. I'm going to tell you this straight up. You can take that swarm rustler and you can throw it in the river. I ain't got nothing for it. Never will. Uh, I ain't got nothing against Bob, but uh, Bob knows my position on that. So uh, we're not even going to talk about swarm rustler. And uh, we're going to leave that comment alone. That's for toot sweet, buddy. No, uh, no personal offense toward you, brother. I'm, you just hear me out, but ain't got nothing for it. Um, you want a, you want a good product? You jump in there and you get you some Swarm Commander. Now, what's in that box right there is three comb, three pieces of old drawn comb in a brand new Hive IQ box. That's why they're running in there, and they're doing a real good job of it. Absolutely love it. But uh, now that's all they needed. A little bit old drawn comb but I do like this March a lot better than what we did before they're they're not really there's some kind of coming up the front but they're still running in not running out so real happy about that um, how you guys liking this so far just a little swarm action you know I mean this beats all that crappy news we get on TV right having to listen to who's who did what who's did what with what country or whatever and blah 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 you want oh this is a cool look at that drone look at that sucker come on focus look at this uh, we go it's got a pretty good bit of gold in them not too bad but they're still going in they're still going in let's see what it looks like up underneath our ramp Cause you know they're going back underneath there oh uh, not bad at all not bad at all i, I just don't want to i don't want to mess this thing up while we got them on a good march but uh <laughs> while we're watching you guys are watching this what what all how i like this a lot a nice surprise to see the lives thank you oh so you, you know i i mean i this just gives me an opportunity this has finally given me some uh, an ability to where i can actually just kind of interact with you guys um, look at that one right there. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, that one out. It was a dark one. It was cool looking. Acting like a spasmo. But, uh, I really, I, I enjoyed the, Oh, look at how dark that one is. Look at this one. Look at that one. Wow. Come here. Ooh, come here. Hey, you're a dark one. That thing's almost black. Um, but yeah, this this gives me an opportunity to get in here and just chit chat with you guys while we're having a little bit of fun with the bees. So I appreciate you jumping in. Um, hey, Lewis Family Homestead, uh, we appreciate you jumping in here. This was just, just kind of off the cuff spur of the moment. I mean, it's not like you can plan these things when it comes to the lives when you're shaking a swarm. You know, it just all I can do is just hit go. But uh, I'll tell you something else. I know it's real hard to see. You guys just bear with me. But that's busting up. So they're actually, all this you see up in the air right now, they're coming back down here. So no, we didn't have a queen up there. But I honestly, with, with the chaos that we've had through this, um, we're now, what, 15 minutes in? So thank you guys for being here. And I'm going to tell you this. If you've made it this far, uh, definitely comment. Let me know you made it to the 15-minute mark. So, um, hopefully you didn't skip too far ahead. Oh, oh, oh. You want to know where a queen's at? Where's my cage? Hang on. Hang on. Oh, we got something going on right here. Here we go. Find me a queen. Find me a queen. She's right here. Guarantee she's a queen right here. Well, maybe not, but pretty darn skippy that there is. Come on, 
Don't don't be unfocusing. These people want to see this. Show me a queen. Come on. I'm gonna die laughing if there's not a queen in here. What are y'all doing? I mean, for real. There she is. There she is. I got her. I got her. She's right there. Come on. She's literally right there. Right? Oh. Something happened to her. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. That's our queen. But see, look at her size. She's not that big. She is not that big. All right. Let's play a little game with them. Play a little game with them. Put you guys right there and watch this. Watch this. She's still got a pheromone and they're checking it out, okay? If we got another one in here, I told you I thought we had a mini queen in there. What happened? Don't tell me when I shook him, I happened. I come over here and didn't know that she was there or something. Crap. I don't think she was mated though. But I mean, that's the one that they had. She could have been a small mated queen. What do y'all think? Yeah, see, that'll teach y'all to leave early. Those of y'all that stayed in here got to see this kind of confusion. All right, so now we got a problem. Now we've got a problem. We've got a colony that thinks that they have a queen. So let's do this. Let's just do this right here. Look out, girls. All right. Sorry for the ones that. Sorry for the to the ones that didn't make it through that. But uh, so one of two things will happen. We either have another unmated queen in there. They just balled that one, possible, or during the whole process of um, she was injured and something happened to her. But this is where she was at. So let's just break them up. Y'all go away. Sorry about your mama. That's not, no, that's just a regular bee. All right. So, all right. I'm gonna give you all a second. Yeah, I am not happy about it, but it happens. All right, so, beekeeping friends, what's our next move? What do you think we're gonna have to do now? And uh, your answers will probably be right. There's three different possibilities here. Tell me what you guys would have to do. Tell me what you'd do. I know you're on a slight delay, so I'm just kind of giving you a chance to answer on that one. Look at the march now. Dang it. She may have been a mated queen. And that was their girl. But you know, look at the, look at the rush to get in there now. I hate that wait and see yeah uh rob a queen from another hive um do you have a queen ready eggs and brood okay so eggs and brood we've got uh rob a queen or have another queen handy and available you know and honestly the third answer is you know make a phone call and order a queen okay um they would probably not be too happy to stay in this box uh for very long without a queen so ordering one was probably the last option that I would have um, because this was a new catch now if we had brood and everything in there then it wouldn't be a problem we would just have to manage that by getting the queen putting her in there and make sure we don't have any uh, queen cells set up but yes I do have a queen if you guys went if you guys watched uh, yesterday on my uh, yappy B man channel sorry for the car yesterday on my yappy B man channel we caught a um, small swarm, a very small swarm on my version of the Russian Scion setup. 
all right where I, I just basically I put a board to frame up in my tree my cedar tree and uh, we took that to get use it to try to catch some swarms well in this circumstance we don't have a queen but that one does have a queen in it and it's not but one frame of bees so later tonight I can go and rob that hive of their queen in one frame of bees and put it in with this and um, they, they will accept her they will do just fine but the wait and see is a very good option also because they have drawn comb in there I'll let everybody get in here and then tomorrow double check that they don't have a second queen that was possibly unmated in here okay it, it their actions are never 100% of an answer so just so you understand um, the safe thing to do for right now rob a frame of brood that's got some eggs in it put it in there pull that queen out and then let them let them uh, start making some queen cells uh, probably one of the best but we're right here at the privet flow so letting them delay 28 plus you know seven to ten days you know looking at 35 38 days before a queen starts laying eggs i don't want to waste that time that's why i keep queens on hand in my other boxes um in that in that uh some nuke boxes just for just to have a queen on hand but uh yeah that looks a lot better than what it did earlier and there's almost nothing left up there okay so uh we're doing real good right there these guys are still over here trying to figure out where that queen went and she was about right there but she gone girls come on so the option I'll do, I'll probably go ahead and put a frame of brood in and um, that'll help hold them to the box, but probably early tomorrow morning I'll pull that queen out of that other hive and uh, set it in there with them. Give them a day or so, get acclimated, uh, start drawing out some of the other frames and just let them get to it. Try to save the, save the, the 14... 28 28 to 35 days depending on whether to get her mated but anyway uh i bought a mated queen through the mail and it never laid an egg very sad man dennis i hate that i hate that um i you know situations can happen i i can't tell you why that would because even if you got one that was you know that wasn't mated when you got her i mean unless she was just that darn old but when they shipped her and she never got mated there i mean there's a possibility but i you know who knows but um, to see, hang on, oh, sorry girls, look out, come on, look out, there you go, that'll help. Um, to see that happen, that's weird, but uh, I hate that. Uh, check to see if there's a queen already in that hive. Well. And, and that's kind of what I was talking about, Mike. I really don't want to throw another queen in there right now because this being a swarm catch, I don't want to um, risk that there may be another queen in there. And uh, I don't, because we don't, I don't know how the, the queen that I have in there actually died. If you, if you made it in and seen, we found her queen, uh, but she, she was kind of curled up. She looked like she kind of got bald, to be honest with you, but um, I, I don't know, so... We'll kind of go from there. Um, let's see, Adrian. Yeah, you saw my video yesterday, Adrian, so you understand. Um, you know, we we were just kind of messing around with that little Russian scion thing, just to see how it would work out, and kind of went from there. Well, that's about the biggest thing. Well, guys, so uh, we'll go ahead and get this thing wrapped up. Basically, what we did, we had a swarm up here in that um, privet hedge. And we put the tarp down. We used the bucket on a paint pole to kind of push up and, and bring them down. Now, what's interesting is, is that queen was way over here. And all we did was we had the box turned that way. And we dumped all our bees pretty much right there where that little green, where you see that green stuff right there, those leaves. That's where we dumped everything in. And, um, you know there's a chance that i probably injured her while we were we were bumping the tree and that stuff up there so um that's just that uh this is some of the things that you kind of have to watch out for and be prepared for if it happens in a in 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 our 
endeavors playing with bees that those things could happen. Um, so now we have found that we have at least one queen. She is, she's not made it through this process. Uh, we put her in the cage. We put her in the box. They're going in there. They're, they're kind of figuring it out. And we'll let it settle down. We will double check before we add another queen. Just go through there. See if there's any signs that we've got a, another queen in there by chance. Um, because I really wasn't sure if the queen we had was mated or unmated. So we will just confirm that. And then we'll make adjustments from there. We'll either... Um, leave a frame of brood in there. Let them make some make some queen cells. I'll reduce it down to just two cells. Uh, let them hatch it out and go, which is not what I want to do. Or I'll pull a queen out of the swarm that we pulled yesterday. That was a very small swarm, and we'll give them that queen and um, let them kind of go from there. And and what's interesting is is the genetics look very similar in the queen that we caught yesterday to this one. So. Um, Kind of be what it'll be but this was a very this was a very good size swarm i would say pushing four pounds and um that this time of the season could very well mean that we had multiple queens in there so um i appreciate y'all and um let's see i'm gonna just double check one or two um a surefire way to check is put a frame of young larvae in there. If they swarm emergency cell tomorrow or queenless, you know you have a queen in there. Yeah, well, I don't disagree with that, Mike. I don't disagree with that. But uh, we're going to kind of, like I said, it goes back to the time frame. I, I really don't want to have to wait that time frame. Um, but it does confirm whether or not we got one in there. But we'll play with it tomorrow. Um, it's like 5.30, 6 o'clock here or something. like. I don't even know what time it is here. Other than my neighbors got loud trucks cranking up. But uh, hope you enjoyed it, gang. And uh, we'll see where this one goes. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, for everybody that jumped in here, blessings. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.